Developing now in a bombshell announcement for those getting unemployment benefits. Just as new job numbers were released today, the state has over 250,000 available jobs. And here's progress. The unemployment rate sits at a pandemic era low of 4.5%. It all comes as McDonald's and Chipotle both raised the minimum wage to $15 an hour. And Amazon announcing it's hiring 75,000 people across the country with an average starting pay of 17 bucks an hour. But that good news prompted Governor Brian Kemp to pull the plug on some unemployment benefits. Better Call Harry has been covering unemployment, of course, since the start of the pandemic. He's live outside the Department of Labor with more. Harry. You know something? I, I didn't think that we'd be standing here just over a year later saying we've gone from no jobs to a huge surplus of jobs. And how do you convince someone who's getting those benefits and with the extended benefits, uh, the equivalent of 15 to maybe $16 an hour to go back to work. Well, you do what the governor did today. You take some of those benefits away. 18 weeks. It had been 18 weeks. I got the full amount. For Georgians receiving state unemployment benefits, there is some good news. If you're just on uh, regular Georgia unemployment, uh, it's really not going to affect you at all, except for the fact that the $300 extra supplement will be going away. And that's the bad. The $300 supplemental payment is one of three federal programs that Congress extended in March. The other extends regular benefits by 26 weeks. And then there's PUA, the program that gives weekly payments to gig workers. The federal extension goes through September 6th until this morning when Governor Kemp decided we're opting out on June 26th, more than two months early. Now we've seen a lot of uh, companies that have really pushed their wages up. Labor uh, Commissioner Mark Butler says it all comes down to a huge surplus in jobs. 251,000 job listings, but the actual number is much higher. I mean, that's not the total number of jobs. I mean, that's job listings. A lot of those job listings are for 5, 10, 20 people. Uh, and so there's no doubt you could have anywhere from 400 to uh, a half a million jobs sitting out there going vacant right now. Want to do the happy dance, happy dance, ha, ha. Over the past year, we've helped hundreds of Georgians who couldn't get through to anyone because the Labor Department remains closed to the public. The commissioner says even so, if you have an appeal or you're still waiting, every approved backdated benefit will be paid. All right, so once again, the federal benefits now end on June 26th instead of September, and you'll lose the $300, you'll lose the extended benefits, and you'll lose PUA. We're live outside Georgia's Department of Labor, Harry Samler, CBS 46 News.